Hey guys, time for uh, one of the Meet the Collection segments. I have one of my favorite snakes here. Uh, this is Incognito. She is uh, a female Sumatran short tail. Um, out of my dark stuff, she's the largest female that I have. Sambuca is a little bit larger than she is. Uh, you can see the nice contrast of the light belly to the dark, dark back. Uh, being in the light like this, backing up, um, you'll be able to see some of her pattern. Uh, certain lighting, you really can't see it at all. She'll appear pretty solid black. Um, I believe she was born in 2008. Uh, she was produced by Kara at the blood cell, or TBC, as you may have seen it said. Hi. She's one of my absolutely favorite animals, as I've mentioned. Uh, she has a ton of personality. She's very personable. Uh, she's good at educational programs and things of that nature. She's a great breeder. Uh, she's just great as a pet. Everything about this snake is just awesome. Uh, there's nothing I would change about her other than I would love to have a million of her um, and to have her be, you know, immortal and live forever because she's just a wonderful animal. There's nothing I can't do with her. There's no situation I can't put her in and, and not trust her. Um, I just, I absolutely adore her. Uh, to those that have been watching the videos, if you saw Voodoo Queen, Voodoo Queen is one of her daughters, as is Morticia, who hasn't been on the channel yet. Uh, Morticia is, uh, she's a little weird about certain situations. I'll probably use her eventually for a video. I just haven't yet. Uh, and then I have three babies from the last time that I bred her that I haven't named yet. I have a male and two females. Uh, who are also offspring of her, and plenty of you guys out there have gotten babies from her before. Uh, I don't even know what else to really say about her. Uh, you know, I already kind of discussed her personality, and you can hear her. She's very vocal. She's constantly expressing air. She's moving around and doing things like that. So you'll always hear noise out of her. Doesn't mean anything. She's not upset or defensive. Um, you know, bloods and short tails can just be vocal animals. Uh, and you know, she's one of them. You're right in my face. It's annoying. But, uh, like I said, I really enjoy her and I enjoy the fact that I can take her to educational programs because she is such a pretty snake and because she is such a easygoing animal. Uh, she always gets rave reviews at everything that I take her to and people really, really enjoy interacting with this species. Um, I've said it before, I really think this is one of the be best uh, pet species on the market. Uh, not only because they're fairly hardy, uh, even amongst the short tails, uh, these guys tend to be pretty rock solid. They don't really get sick, as long as you keep them, you know, appropriately, of course. Um, but they're not really prone to things, as long as you're giving them that good ventilation, as long as you're keeping them, you know, cool and humid. Um, and even then, you know, they... they uh, they can handle a pretty wide range of humidity without too many issues and things like that. You know, not quite like a corn snake or something, but for other short tail species and other pythons, they're, they're pretty hardy in that regard. Uh, but they just tolerate the shit out of handling, which you just can't beat. Um, I can hand this snake to anybody and feel confident that they're going to be fine with her. Um, all of my Sumatran short tails are that way. Uh, Morticia, as I mentioned before, she just doesn't like going outside when she gets into grass or if you put her in bare plastic, she doesn't like that either. If she puts herself on bare plastic, fine. Um, if you put her on bare plastic, though, she'll start thrashing around and freaking out and wants to get off of it. She's just a kind of odd duck out of all the Sumatrans that I've ever had. But, um, yeah, I, I endorse these guys all the time as a pet species. If you want an animal that's not only awesome looking, um, they eat every time. I don't think you could get a Sumatran short tail to refuse food. I know a few people that have problem feeders with them, but it blows me away. I just don't understand it. I produce a ton of them. Most of them eat the first time I offer them food right out of the egg, you know, six, seven days, 10 days after, after hatch, uh, they're already, already eating. Um, I would say 85% of the Sumatrans I've produced have eaten first try. Uh, and you can't beat that. And uh, like I said, they eat every time. They're very food motivated though, and she is no different. Um, if I'm thawing food and I go into the room and go to take her out, you need to watch yourself because she will come out swinging. It's not because she's mean, it's not because she wants to bite me, but she has no patience for food. And all of my Sumatran short tails are that way. 
Um, once I start thawing food and I actually thaw my food typically in my kitchen, which is nowhere near my snake room, uh, within about 40 minutes or so of me thawing food, you go in that snake room, you can already see all the Sumatrans are cruising. They're all pressed right up against where they know I'm gonna feed from just waiting. Whether it's their day to feed or not, you know, obviously they don't have a calendar, they don't know. They just assume they smell food, they want it. But yeah, I, I couldn't recommend these guys enough for people if you wanna do the research and have a, a pet snake. You know, you can take these out two or three times a week. It's not gonna stress them out. Um, you know, obviously individuals can vary always, but as a general rule, like really nothing bothers these guys. As long as they're comfortable in their caging, you can do just about anything from there and they are uh, all good with it. Give you a little bit closer, closer look at her here. See if we can get her to pose for you. But she really is just one of my favorite animals. She always will be, um, you know, and that's why I have holdbacks of her kids and I adore them too, you know, because they're, they're from her and she is so incredible. So we'll cut this short because I'm kind of rambling. Any questions on her, comments on her, uh, more than welcome. Try to hold her up again so you can see her a little bit. Uh, she just really is a special animal. What's going on my elbow? All right, we'll see you guys. Uh, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Questions, comments, and uh, Miss Incognito here and I will see you later.